Hello guys, I'm back again. Hello guys, I'm back again. Hello guys, I'm back. Okay, today's video we're going to be looking at how to style a file upload button with CSS. How to style up, spice up, whatever up to make it look better, to make it look pop. If you've ever worked with forms or inputs in HTML, you know that the file upload button is especially ugly Arr, like damn ugly now but if you even ever used um a css library like bootstrap you know that the customization you have we have that it's not enough and when you even try maybe making use of css to try styling it up you might not get that particular feel that particular um grind customization and today i'm going to show you how to transform the default input file upload option from this we have here into this so without wasting much of your time let's get into it so i'm right here in visual studio code and i'm going to create uh my files i'm going to create an index.html file and then i'm going to create a style.css file so i'm inside of my html file so i'm just going to uh create the template and then name this let's see file upload input styling okay or whatever it is you want and then i'm going to link to my css you can use um style tags you if you want that works all right so i'm going to do this link to my css file now basically i'm going to have two major divs okay which is going to contain um the two major section the two major buttons so the first i'm going to have is i'm going to have a div with a class of button section now inside of this i'm going to have my label tag okay which is going to say uh, i'm not going to put anything yet okay and then we're going to have inputs and then we want file okay so we have this here all right so let's save and let's open with our live server so i can either right click and open with live server once you have the extension live server installed or i can just click on this go live so anyone works all right so we have our post started here and it's going to open it directly in browser and here it is oh oh now we see we can click on it either the label or the button itself now once we click on it it's going to open up a file dialog where we can select any file okay i can come and just select a particular file all right so we've seen that now let's see how to actually customize and style that up a bit now the trick here lies in this particular label tag now i'm going to add to this let me close this it's distracting okay so i'm going to add input one and then yeah i'm going to put four attributes i'm going to say input one okay now let's add something here this is a test this is a test okay let's save that and let's open this up now we can see that when we click on even this when we click on this particular label now it's working it's opening it up and that's where our trick lies so basically to actually make this um better i'm going to actually duplicate this notes you have to change the id and the um attributes here okay so this is um input two okay all right that works fine that works well so we have our two sections here so let's just quickly do a bit of styling okay so i'm going to say do something like we're going to have something like button section okay to make this uh better so we're going to do something like let's rename this to group and then this should be group one or it can be group two and then we're going to put everything inside of the section so the section should contain the group right makes sense okay so i'm going to scoot this in and 
okay I'm going to scoot that in and let's see let's format it a bit and then okay all right that looks good now i'm going to save these and then we're going to write our style so we're going to make it display flex let's add a flex box oh uh, okay and then i'm going to add the flex direction to be column all right and then justify it make it to be in the center justify content center and then we're going to have the padding padding of 20 pixels i think that should work fine and then let's say we're going to align items to the center okay let's save that and let's see what we have okay okay let's see oh we've not added our class here class button section all right now let's save that and then let's check all right now this is looking good so what we are going to do next is we're going to target the input tags here so we are going to hide it with css so that's basically we're going to come here and then we say button then group and then input and then button group one and then input oh sorry there shouldn't be a comma here all right so we're going to target display none all right now let's save let's see how that looks like now if we should click on this we see it still works it still works so this is basically this is essentially the trick we are going to be making use of so clicking on this still works okay so let's go back and then let's style it up a bit more let's spice it up so what i'm going to do is then button group then label and then also button group one and then label we are going to add some styling to it the first thing i want to add is cursor pointer okay so when i save and check that okay now this is changing to this okay to indicate that we are it's a button to make it act as a button so we are going to add display block so since okay a button its button should be um in a block display okay so that way we'll be able to add our padding um, our margin and everything to make it look better so we're going to add the color change the color to okay white and then the background color okay i'm going to edit the background color a bit later so let's add the padding and then padding is going to be 15 pixels and then 30 pixels okay that should work fine border radius let add something like five pixels okay and then margin we should add something like 10 pixels zero pixels okay that works fine and then we're going to add transition for whenever we are hovering on the background to add that smooth look okay transition all then 0 0.3 seconds and then um we can use ease all right anyone works so then we're going to just take for this part this group and then we're going to just add the background color of oh, oh background color of let's see one e two three five zero okay that's a kind of dark blue and then we're going to add for this button group one and then we're going to say the background color is going to be let's say something like zero let's see f11 think i have one in mind okay this should work fine all right so let's save that and let's see what we have so far okay now this is looking good this is looking good this is looking good let's change this to a bit of let's see two three all right so let's see okay now this is working now we can see and this still works still open up the file dialog and we can still select our file this totally works all right so let's just finish up the styling and okay now we want to make it that whenever we over so i'm going to just duplicate that and then okay and then i'm going to put over 
and then i can just over on this color here and just drag it down to add a bit of darker shade and then same thing for this and then let's come down a bit and then over and then i'm gonna over on this and then bring it down a bit okay and then let's save that and then let's see now this is looking better mm? wouldn't you agree okay so there's just one last little tiny thing another thing you should note is you can also add icons so for this i'm going to be making use of font also and i'm going to be copying um the pasting the cdn link right here in my html tag okay so i'm just going to duplicate this and instead of this just change this to all right so i've pasted the link to the scene let's see and then i'm going to say class equals to fa and then fa then upload okay and then let me copy this here and then paste it here okay that should work let's cross our fingers i'm crossing my fingers right now okay works fine all right i'm just going to add a bit of space and then i'm going to put and non-breaking space okay and same here just to add a bit of space okay so another thing we can do is let's see the label we can do something like font size let's say 1.5 okay rem and then let okay all right so we see this is working fine and when i click on this okay now this is working fine all right so if you enjoy this particular video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, if you have any question or any um request you will anything you would like me to actually make a video on you can put it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe share thank you very much and i'll be before i go i'll be uploading this particular um code onto this ripple so you can also copy the styling and you can play around with it so if you enjoy this once again don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to check out our social media pages the link will be in the description below thank you very much and see you next time